Hey guys, we got a babysitter. So we're gonna go try out our new dinghy on the lake. What's the name of the dinghy? Mr. Smee? Mr. Smee. Probably. <laughs> we haven't decided yet. Anyways, since we have no idea what we're doing as far as sailing, we figured maybe we should try out on the dinghy first. And, you know, capsize in three feet of water or something <laughs> with an eight foot dinghy and not a 25 foot boat. Mr. Smee! <laughs> I feel like an adventurer already. I feel like a turtle. <laughs> on the hook. Yeah, let's sail. From tipping the boat and then. Who tipped the boat? Who okay, tipped when the boat? I tipped the boat. The okay, I capsized the boat. <laughs> Anyways, got the wiggly legs and drilling going on, but it was very fun and a beautiful, beautiful day. After our misadventure, we decided to take turns individually sailing the dinghy. Turns out it's way easier with just one person. It's fun though. With about a half an hour of practicing, we actually started to get a hang of what we were doing and what we weren't supposed to do. We're going down one right now. So if he goes across it, it's a jive, which is harder to do without capsizing. Saved it! After playing with it for a while, we learned how to trim the sail to use the wind more effectively. We also practiced tacking up wind. I think I'm saving jibing for another day. Feeling more confident after our practicing, we were ready to try both of us in the dinghy again. We are moving! All right, what did you think? That's gonna take some practice. Yeah, it is. It was fun though. It was very fun. Like if I had 
had a dinghy that couldn't sink, I could probably go a lot more confident. Yep. That was very fun though. That one time I had to throw it back to shore. I was like, I'm so bad, we're close to the shore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would just leave it. Join us next time on Webs Out Loud.